with cerebral palsy, CP for short, is an umbrella term covering a wide range of cerebral disorders, which results in childhood motor impairment. While people living with cerebral palsy acquire these weaknesses for the rest of their lives, CP is not a progressive disorder. That means brain damages can be revert, but it cannot get worse. However, abnormal motor control or reduction in muscle tone can lead to shortness in muscle or deformations in bones. Therefore, early interventions and treatment can help ease child abnormalities and symptoms. According to Center for Disease Control and Prevention, an average of 1 in 323 children in North America have CP, making it the most common motor disability in childhood. While there is no definitive causation for this disease, scientists had agreed that CP was caused by a damage to the brain. This includes physical damage, an infection, reduction in oxygen level, for some reason and many other causations. These damages can occur in early development, either in utero to early months while the brain is still developing. As a result of this, there is a different types of cerebral palsy that can range from mild to severe. For example, Spastic cerebral palsy is the result of damage to the cerebellar cortex, the biggest area in the brain. It allows for the production of stiff muscles, which is often called spastic muscles. This type is most common form of CP. Spastic cerebral palsy can affect different parts of the body. For example, when it affects the legs more than the arms, it's often called diaplegic cerebral palsy. If only one side of the body is affected, this type is often called hemiplegic cerebral palsy. Finally, if the entire body is affected, this is often called quadriplegic cerebral palsy. Another type of cerebral palsy is called dyskinetic cerebral palsy. This type is often lead to uncontrollable movement of the body as a result of small damage in basal ganglion, an area in the middle of the brain. Damages to another part of the brain called cerebellum can lead to poor balance and coordination. This type is called ataxic cerebral palsy. Despite all this, people living with cerebral palsy had led a very successful lives. There are ways to get around and ways to improve. You just need to be determined and things will look better. Thank you for your watching. This video was intended to students enrolled in the Impact Project at McMaster University, Canada. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our page under Demystifying Medical Series. Thank you!